In enterprise on Kubernetes, we've baked in the powerful metric collection server Prometheus, as well as a query visualizer Grafana into the product itself. Let me give you a quick tour of the metric capabilities. Using Grafana, I have authored a dashboard that represents the usage statistics of my simple sample world cities map service. The graph on the top left indicates the average response time for the service. The graph on the top right indicates the percentage of requests that were serviced under one second to meet my service level agreements. Requests are currently being generated using a simple JMeter test client. You will notice that there is some load on the server, but the system appears to be handling that requests and load well. I'm able to meet my SLAs about 100% of the times. Let's see what happens if you were to increase the load on the system. To do this, I'm going to reconfigure my JMeter test client to simulate more users. The JMeter test client is a step load tool and it takes a few moments to ramp up. Behind the scenes, manager communicates with the administrative REST API. The administrative REST API issues commands to Kubernetes to scale the pods up. When the new pods are up across your cluster, they're added to your load balancer and your service gets additional capacity. Let's take a look at our dashboard. We are now seeing that the average response times for that service are spiking. That means the system and the service is definitely under load. Our SLAs seem to be dropping as well. This is a case where an administrator like me needs to be alerted. If the load is expected, I need to provision addition capacity to handle this. As an administrator, I can do this very efficiently and effectively on a per service basis. Going back into the enterprise manager and access our service configuration, let's look at the settings for this service. It's currently running a single pod with some CPU and memory limits. I can either grow the pod larger by increasing the limits or increase the number of pods for that service. Let's go ahead and change this to three. It's gonna take a few seconds for the new pod and capacity to be provisioned and to have it reflected on our dashboard. Going back to our dashboard now, we can see that with the improved additional capacity, our average response times are improving. We are also able to meet our service level agreements for a higher percentage of times now. So with the increased capacity, our service seems to be doing much better without impacting our client in any way. Now I'm showing you a very manual demo, but this can be very easily automated with a little bit of scripting. Using scripts, you can query the Prometheus metric server and collect statistics on these services. You can then feed it to a simple analytical routine that can raise an alert and take an appropriate action. In enterprise and Kubernetes, you monitor and observe as an API, allowing you to manage and scale your geospatial infrastructure as code.